Hey, let's move on to segment three. And lo and behold, the Oakland Raiders have found some trouble with Antonio Brown. Who saw that coming? Antonio, with frostbitten feet, was slow to report to training camp because he didn't like the helmet that he had. Um, is, there, is there any surprise, uh, Cedric, that this uh, soap opera that seems to follow Antonio Brown has settled into the Oakland Raiders training camp? You know, I love me some Antonio Brown on Sunday afternoon, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, not so much. I think he's a diva. Uh, he's kind of nuts, uh, kind of pouted his way out of Pittsburgh, was mad because they voted Juju Smith-Schuster, the team MVP, and threw the ball at Big Van at practice. Those kind of things are, are, are the uh, petulant actions of someone who needs to mature. And Antonio Brown's on the other side of 30, Barry. He ain't never changing. He's going to always be like this. I think as far as the hard knocks thing is concerned, what great copy for those guys. Uh, they're, ge they're getting the up close and personal look at, at, a, at a spoiled superstar, uh, make, making times hard for a coach who's trying to turn things around and couldn't happen to a nicer guy than John Gruden. But to me, I think it's more of a distraction than anything. Antonio Brown's skill set on, on, on a football field is basically unrivaled in the league. He's the best football player or best receiver of this generation that we have. And this generation includes Julio Jones and A.J. Green So when we, and, and Larry Fitzgerald at the end of his career. So when you say that, it's, 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 it's high praise, but it's all the ex, extracurricular stuff, the external stuff that, that has the Raider Nation got to be concerned. You spend $30 million to bring this guy in, and he's talking about sitting out if he can't get it his helmet from last year give me a break you know what he said he can't it limits his visibility man for 30 million dollars i just check my blind spot twice and keep it moving bear do you think the raiders in their heart of hearts regret this acquisition you think you think they're glad they have antonio brown or are now they're starting to see hey maybe the steelers had the right idea no they're absolutely giddy about having antonio brown because guess what happens, Barry? Once training camp's over, those feet are going to be better. He's gonna, they're going to be playing um, on Sunday afternoons. They're not going to be running around in 100-degree heat every day because NFL teams don't practice that hard during the season. This is all about just limiting how, how much he has to work uh, in that hot sun because they hate training camp, man. They can't begin to impress upon you how much these guys hate training camp. I've talked to, to players who have retired, and I go, what are you going to miss? Oh, the camaraderie, this, this, this. What are you not going to miss training camp? That's always the number one answer. So he's going to be fine. Those blistered feet didn't look good, Barry, at all. But I think they're gonna, that, that's going to eventually heal. He's going to be great. Derek Carr's a really good quarterback. He's going to get his numbers. And Raider Nation is no stranger to divas on the football field. They've thrived on that anti-hero type mentality many decades under Al Davis. And so this is nothing new. He's just the latest. I'd be a little worried, though, because Antonio Brown did quit on the Steelers late last year. So you know, maybe it goes well for the Raiders, but I wouldn't sleep easy if I was John Gruden. Hey, thanks, Cedric. Great uh, stuff. As always, we will come to you next week on the Writer's Block.